have been doing some pretty intense interventions, but this last one is really on all of us. Now, here's an addiction that many of us have and we don't even know it. Take a look. Justin McLeod lived a lonely existence, far from the eyes of a prying world. You guys ever seen him? Who, McLeod? He'll only let you see him in person. Point of doing anything if you can't post a photo of him. He's untaggable. Why weren't you at the church bazaar yesterday? I wasn't invited. Everybody was. There's a group invite on Facebook. I don't have a Facebook. Once in a while, a friend request comes along that will change your life forever. Why don't you just sign up? No, he's not my friend on Facebook. He's my friend in real life. The man without a Facebook. <laughs> Producers oh, could use a little sleep. That's uh, funny. Okay, well, I mean, so you're what do we think about, about this? Social media addiction. Social media addiction. This is this is uh, a very real thing, actually. I, I have some stats for you. Facebook has 350 million active users. Wow. Over 700 billion minutes per month are spent on Facebook. That's actually terrifying mm. to me. <laughs> uh, how about this one? 48% of 18 to 34 year olds check their Facebook when they wake up. 28% do so before they even get out of bed. But you have <laughs> to. I had, I had 22 I, I notifications this morning and two new friend requests. Exactly. I would have missed out. I would have missed out on that if I hadn't checked. That, that's why <laughs> I'm, I'm really? the man. Yes. I'm the man without a Facebook. Yeah, you, you are. are? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't think that's good. I think that there's a balance, right? right? Now, we should say that, you know, more available. Travis, social media can be really healthy. Did you know that studies have shown that when people go and read their Facebook pages it ra regularly, it raises their self-esteem because we only post the prettiest pictures mm -hmm. of ourselves and our friends publicly only say, you rock girl, go ahead, great, you know? And we defriend somebody who says yeah. bad stuff on not, our Facebook. Not on my Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> on my Facebook, it's like, and I hate you for another reason. <laughs> and you know what else? I'm like, but this then you is can a blast. Just, you can this just block so that fun. person. Right. It's so easy. And you know, I should say, parents should always friend and Twitter yes. follower their kids yes. and their teens. Mm -hmm. It is not an invasion of privacy. If they're, you know, if they were walking down the road carrying a sign saying, I'm about to have sex, I'm about to do drugs, would you be considered snooping if you went out and read the sign? No. And that's what Facebook and Twitter is. It's a very public way. It's not going between their mattresses and looking mm -hmm. in their diary. Um, so it's very important because even if you're not just, you're looking at your kids' postings, but you get a whole sense for what the peer group morals and ethics are. So you're seeing all the friend, their friends posting as well.